My name is Dr. James Galvin. I'm a neurologist at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. I became interested in Alzheimer research because I've always been really fascinated by the brain. Uh, when I was a young kid, I loved science, but the brain really intrigued me. And as I was moving through medical school, I realized that this was something that I really, really wanted to focus on. Like many people involved in Alzheimer research, I have a personal connection. Um, I grew up in a two-family home with my grandfather, who developed Parkinson's disease and then dementia. My grandmother, who's now 101, is living with dementia. My father-in-law died of vascular dementia, and my mother-in-law died of Alzheimer's disease. So for me, this is not just a professional activity. It's really become a personal battle. I think one of the most important things that my research tries to provide is to understand how we can best detect the earliest signs of disease in all races, cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds. What we understand in one group of individuals may not explain the disease for everybody. So our research has really tried to focus on how do we understand what's a healthy brain, what it puts a person at risk for Alzheimer's or related disorders, and what could we best do to help these people be the best that they can be. So the punchline of our research is, can we build a better brain as we age?